Hello YouTube! Yay, I am back! It is the Omicron crew, and we are actually doing something right now. Well, I'm doing something. James is not exactly doing it right now, but it's the Companions Challenge, and basically it's it's uh, it was proposed by Ethos Lab, and the challenge is to get a snow golem, an iron golem, and a tamed ocelot, and a tamed wolf all together in the same place. Couple rules, you have to uh, do it on hardcore mode, so we're going to create a new world. I'm going to call it um, Companions Challenge. has to be on hardcore. Uh, we can't use random, you can't use a seed, you have to use just a random seed, or I guess you could type in random junk if you wanted to, I don't know. Uh, world type, default, generate structures on. Basically, you can't use beds, you can't sleep like that to pass the night away. You have to um, play it on hardcore. You can't use F3, I don't see what much advantage you get from that, but whatever. I guess if you're mining and you want to see what biome you're in to see if you should dig up to get a jungle, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but whatever that is, you can't use F3, you can't use beds, and can't use mods, texture packs, x-ray, that kind of stuff. There's probably something else, but it was really minor, and I probably won't come across it anyway. Create new world. Basically, the time so far for some of the people have been, um, Kirchimac got like 54 to 56 minutes or something. Schism, I think, got, uh... Oops. There we go. <laughs> Lag glitches. Uh, F1 pressed. Uh, basically, I think, and I spawned a jungle biome, that's convenient. I think Kerche Mac got, yeah, 40, 54 to 56 minutes or somewhere around there. The episode is like 56 minutes, 57 minutes, but he did have a little time where he was explaining creating the world, kind of like I did. Um, I'm, my strategy right now is just kind of getting some wood, getting a bare footing. Now, I know I'm leaving some trees, and I know I get mad when people do that on the server, and Trig does too, and uh, probably Shred does. But uh, when people leave, like, stumps of trees just kind of floating, but hey, this is single player, this is survival, this is a time challenge, it's how quick you can do it. Schism's time was somewhere around 44 minutes or something, I think. I don't think anyone, last I checked, which was not, like, really recently, maybe, like, two, three days ago, uh, last I checked, and by the time I upload this, probably, like, six, seven days ago, <laughs> uploading takes so long, oh my god. Anyhow... Um, but yeah, I, I don't think anyone else beat Schism yet that I know of. Uh, please correct us if we're wrong, well, correct, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm used to saying us, and now it's not us. It's, it will be, again, us soon when we do something else together, but right now it's a single player kind of thing. Uh, so that's basically where we're at. Uh, my first plan of action is just going to be to get some wood here and kind of get a mining operation. Uh, well, not really a mining operation, but see if I can find a nearby, um cave system. I'm also going to try to get some food from these cows, so I'm going to, let's see, convert that all, make a crafting table, put down the crafting table, get some sticks, and then make a, um, wood pickaxe. And then I'm going to try to get some stone so I can start right away with some stone tools. Uh, oh, wow, I hit iron. Alright, I hit iron, but I don't have, alright, let's see here. Um, art. There we go, let's make a stone pickaxe, and we already have iron, this is amazing. Alright, uh, iron, 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 that was <laughs> And of course we have sand, but we can put the sand away. Basically, uh, you, I need to get 36 iron so I can craft the snow golem. So once I hit like 30, once I hit 42 iron, for sure, if, I mean if I hit 36 and there's another iron sand, I'm just going to give up, but if I'm pretty close, I'm going to mine the rest of the vein in any kind of in sight. Until I get to 42, 44, maybe I can make an iron sword, which might come in handy in battles and whatnot. Although by then I will probably completed most of my uh, combat mono -a mono kind of thing. Except I guess it's not really technically mono -a mono but anyhow, ignore me. But uh, I'm going to make a sword. Oh, wait a second, I need sticks. I'm going to need quite a few sticks for torches and whatnot, so I'm craft 16 there. The sword, there we go. Alright, let's kill these cows, see if we can't get a little bit of... Uh, Food supply going. All right, we got some uh, a little bit of meat. Let's see. I saw some other cows over there. There's more. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's see another couple of cows. A few cows. Take these cows out. Make them sorry they ever entered my single play world. I see a snow biome over there. Put a normal biome there. We have a jungle biome here, and we have a beach here. So I think we're pretty good surrounded with uh, our kind of opportunities. Equal opportunity. Might have them. Um, that reminds me. Uh, I kind of. I do plan a little bit of conversation material for this, but not much, so I'll, I'm gonna kind of be improvising a little bit, which is what I usually do, I suppose. But, um, if I start talking a little fast, sorry, I have this, pre this, um, kind of, I don't know why, but I, I tend to talk a little faster than I should, and people have kind of trouble keeping up, or they just get annoyed by it, so if that applies to you, sorry, I just kind of talk fast and get carried away when I'm talking. 
We have gotten some questions about uh, what kind of things we use. Coal. So I found iron before I found coal. That's that's nice. Uh, we, we had some questions about kind of what we use for recording, and the questions were more software specific. And to answer that question, it is Fraps, as I think uh, James answered from our YouTube channel on the person who asked. But going a little bit more in depth, I know a lot of you, um, well, at least for Kurt J. Mac, a lot of people were interested in. Uh, all right, no more veins. I uh, don't really need to vein mine coal anyhow. I don't know if it grows in veins, but whatever. Screw that. Uh, let's find a cave system here if we can. Another cow. Don't mind if I do kill you, sir. And you mind? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your meat. Feel like a sore now. Um, basically, uh, going into the hardware just real quick. We have. Oh, by the way, we're kind of in a standstill right now with Star Trek. We hope to be able to film it again soon, but we're having some issues with it crashing because apparently my video card isn't exactly properly supported, and so. Star Trek has issues with uh, even the updated video card driver 295.xx, I think I'm using. I don't know exactly what the point is, but it's the 295. I have, oh, I never mentioned a graphics card. Graphics card is a GTX 560 Ti. It's a um, Gigabyte 560 Ti. Like, Gigabyte is in the brand, not one Gigabyte. It has, yeah. But anyhow, um, it has, like, uh, it, it's, it's not a real high-end GPU, but it's, it's good enough for, you know, recording and um, playing at the same time with good frames per second, usually. Now, I do get some odd lag. Uh, I do get some annoying kind of uh, things going on, especially, like, with, you know, Star Trek not working. But apparently they don't um, support the higher-end GPUs as much as they do lower-end and more integrated graphics. Because, I mean, it's not, like, a real hardcore gamers type of game, so you don't have a lot of people playing it with more higher-end graphics cards, which I totally understand. But uh, it ends up with them not getting enough... Uh, support out for some of the more um, higher-end GPUs, and so we end up having a lot of issues with trying to use... Oop, cave system, I see... Whoa, 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 this looks kind of lame. All right, never mind, that is lame. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we do have... Ow. Didn't... Ow. <laughs> All right, we do have some problems with um, not being able to get the drivers to work right, and it, it makes my drivers read-only every once in a while, occasionally, and so it really pisses me off, because then it, it crashes my computer, even when I'm not playing the Star Trek. And I know it is Star Trek, because... I, for a long time, didn't have Star Trek installed before we found out about it and everything, and I had no crashes at all. And then, I mean, I, my computer had crashed, like, once, and that was because, um, whatever happened, it was, like, a, a very, um, special kind of case. It wasn't, like, a common thing. It was, you know, I, I did something stupid, I think. I don't remember what it was. But anyhow, I'm gonna just cook that real quick while I go around hunt a couple more pigs, maybe, and survey the surrounding area. That's my strategy for right now. I don't really see any good cave systems. We're already about seven minutes in, a little bit less than that, being that it took about a minute or so to start off, but it's kind of annoying that I can't find any good cave systems. Maybe if I go back into the jungle biome? I don't know about cave systems and jungle biomes. I've never been too impressed with them. Die, pig. Die. And give me your meat. No. So anyhow, we have, so we have a 560 Ti for the graphics card. Um, generally relatively good uh, for recording. Anyhow, except Star Trek, we have um, 8 gigabytes of RAM, we have a uh, V8, we have a uh, Asus V8, P8 V60, no, I can't even remember. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It's a motherboard, it's the V-Pro, P8 Z68 V-Pro series, that's what it is, um, in just a normal case, so nothing like really fancy, but it's good enough for recording, so it's good enough for us. Uh, what else to talk about? So that, that answers that question. We didn't really have any other user questions. If you have a question, feel free to ask. We'd love to hear from you. Unless it's something dumb like, do you eat tacos? Even those are kind of fun to answer, actually. I do like tacos. Um, taco bueno. Ah, oh, God, I'm losing it. Um, speaking of which, there's this restaurant where we live called Taco Bueno. Yeah. So anyhow... Yeah, you know, Minecraft has been releasing, I as a server owner get a little bit annoyed when Minecraft releases releases that don't add much functionality. For example, 1.2.5, which I think they did a great job with this, 1.2.5, uh, the server was compatible with 1.2.4 clients, and the 1.2.4 server was compatible with 1.2.5 clients. That was brilliant. That was, I'm so glad they did that. But, um, generally, like 1.2.5, 1.1 to 1.2.3, 1.2.4-ish, uh, you know, it obviously wasn't compatible, and so I had to uh, 
um, do a bunch of server updating, and then it takes a while for all the plugins to update. And every time they update, they they add like some little feature, like oh, added you know improve a little bit of an improved mob AI, or you know tw um, fixed a couple bugs. And because they fix those couple bugs, people can't use your server for like two weeks because they update and they don't realize that they weren't supposed to update if they wanted to read. Oh, it must have frozen. All right, I was like, huh. All right. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, kind of annoying. Although I must admit, some of the updates have brought some pretty cool stuff. I know Shred's not too crazy about uh, potions and brewing and all that, but I personally find them quite fun. I like enchantments. I don't know about you guys. I know there were quite a few mixed. This is, I'm getting really lame cave systems, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I know there were some kind of mixed feelings with um, kind of the new world generation, the biomes, the giant oceans after like the 5,000 mark or whatever. Uh, so I know there were kind of some mixed feelings with that, but I feel overall a lot of the updates have been good, while a lot of them have been bad. For example, I don't really like the introduced hunger bar. I find it actually, quite frankly, quite annoying, because, uh, you know, it used to be you eat when you have to heal, but now you have to eat just like a normal person. And, and sure, maybe it makes it more realistic, but it makes it just take that much more work in order to... Uh, that much more work of time that you're, instead of, you know, playing out your dreams in Minecraft forever, though, you're, um you know, collecting food and whatnot. So I think that was one update that I wasn't, didn't really like. Even though it did add realism to the game, I wasn't crazy about it. Uh, <laughs> another one was making it so you have to draw back your bow before you shoot, because I have a really fast trigger finger. And um, I used to really enjoy, like, rapid firing, like, ten arrows a second at the chicken. Hello, I have enough food. But I wanted to kill you anyway. <laughs> oh, the sun's setting. Crap. <laughs> um, whoops. That wasn't smart. All right. I should find a cave system soon. That's not quite so lame as the other ones. Uh, so, ooh, cool. Fine. Cool. Wow, that is some cool terrain. All right. Uh, still don't see any cave systems. That's kind of lame. We're already at, like, the 11-minute mark as far as how far, as long I've been playing. So, anyhow. Oh, that looks, that looks slightly promising. Uh, so, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 uh, the updates, the biome generation, uh, was kind of mixed feelings. I, I did enjoy potions, brewing, all that, enchantments. Yeah. The, the new terrain generation from, like, 1.7.3, which, by the way, was my favorite Minecraft release, a ravine, this will be perfect. Oh, let me craft some, um, oh, wait, I already have this. There we go. Oh, right, we're all ready to go, you're ready, yeah, you are, you're not, well, whatever, screw you, we're going ahead anyway. Um, I see iron down on the floor, the floor might be kind of dangerous to go down to, I think I'm going to block this area off so water doesn't leak in, and I'm just going to kind of dig down. Does that sound good, or is that, like, stupid? Th this looked like a kind of, ow, speaking of kind of safe ways to go down, um, alright, hopefully it doesn't do that again. Alright, I'll look this up. I know you guys can't see too well. I'm very sorry. I'm just the rendering software. Anyhow. But yes, it's... Yeah, we use uh, we use Fraps for recording, Sony Vegas to export it to movie, file that I can move over to my MacBook, and then iMovie on my MacBook, which is very slow, mind you, um, to export it as a movie that we upload to YouTube. So in total, we have quite a bit of rendering and stuff. And the reason we do that is we like a lot of the um, effects and whatnot that iMovie offers that Vegas doesn't. And eventually... Fairly soon I am probably going to move over to a purely Vegas workflow, but right now I'm still kind of embellishing myself in the iMovie features and ease of use. So, anyhow, that's basically where it's at with our rendering software. I don't see much iron up there, so I think I'm just going to stick to the ground. Uh, yeah, get some more iron here. Uh, let's see, how much iron do I have? I have 17, 19, 19 iron. Uh, I don't think I ever really... I don't think I really talked about, James might have, but I don't think I really ever talked about the history of our YouTube channel and our server. By the way, if you don't know, we own a Minecraft, we run and operate a Minecraft server. Um, Shred terrorizes people. It's quite fun. Anyhow, spoiler alert. <laughs> it's quite fun, though. Anyway, uh, the server IP is server.omicromcrew.com. In case you didn't know, join, have fun. Anyhow, it's 1.2.5 currently as of recording. Might update very soon, depending on when Minecraft updates. But anyhow, yeah, our YouTube channel started back in, I want to say, early June of 2011. And basically, it was just kind of, James and I were friends before this, and we were just kind of like, hey, that'd be fun to make a YouTube channel, and hey, yeah, we should do, what do we like, what should we do for a YouTube channel? Hey, gaming, you know, is that two ravines that... Alright, that's pretty cool, but I don't really have time to check that out. I'm going to try to get up there. But anyhow, yeah, we were kind of like, oh, that that's, you know, that would be fun to do a YouTube channel with gaming, and... 
So oh, that was lame. And so we did, and it turned out we enjoyed doing it, and we're still doing it. I mean, we're not like stopping or anything, but um, I think if I could go back, I think I'd make a couple changes. Uh, I'd add music to our videos earlier on. I'm gonna check out that ravine because that thing dead ended. I think I'd um, add music, start adding music. I don't know. Tell us what you guys think of the music. Is, is it kind of annoying, like it overpowers, or because we think it's cool, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the viewers think, but anyhow. Uh, so please let us know. Hey, by the way, if you please let us know what kind of videos you like, and if you have any suggestions for stuff to do, because we're always looking for new ideas for games to play, things to do in Minecraft, things to do in Star Trek. Once we get that working again, if any of you play that game. You know, so we're always looking, oh, by the way, I always mine kind of around, it's not like I know iron's there and I'm, like, cheating or anything. How would that happen anyway? But, uh, it's because iron commonly grows in veins, and by the way, I have enough iron to make a s iron golem right now, so I'm going to mine out the rest of this vein, kind of see if there's, just kind of spot, oh, alright, my pickaxe broke, I think I'm done. Uh, that iron, I don't think I'm going to bother with because my pickaxe broke, and I think I got enough iron now, so I need to get a little bit of coal here. Um, my pickaxe broke. I'll use my wood. No, 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 no. I have definitely enough to craft, and it would save me time, a stone. Why did I pick up reeds? That was intelligent. Anyhow, um, I'm going to make a map and travel. Oh, man. Have you guys ever seen me use a map in Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was interesting. Uh, back when James and I used to just do kind of our own, we just played on, I, I started up a multiplayer server on just vanilla Minecraft and we just played Minecraft, this was before we even opened the YouTube channel, and <laughs> one time he had me try out a map. I'm sure he remembers that quite well too. Um, <laughs> it didn't end well, it ended with me like screaming, I can't figure anything out, I'm going backwards and where are you? And we, I, I was like right next to him and it showed it on the map and everything and I was just, ow. Yes, perfect. Perfect timing, Spider. I love you. You are amazing. Dang it, you suck. Alright. He didn't drop any string, so now he sucks. I don't think he did. No, he didn't. Alright. Yeah, I do need some string, and I do need some bones, so I'm going to be in the night going after some skeletons and going after some spiders. I'm going to try to avoid the zombies because I don't really have any use for rotten flesh. I know zombies sometimes drop things like iron swords. I don't quite know what that's about, but I'm not going to bother with that. I mean... At this point, I have 39 iron, so that's that's enough to craft an iron sword and my iron golem. So, die, die chicken, die chicken, die, die, die. There we go. I don't know why I didn't use the sword. Anyhow, so yeah, our YouTube channel, we kind of started with um, Minecraft videos only and kind of progressed realizing, hey, you know, a lot of the good YouTubers, yes, skeleton, perfect opportunity. You know, we kind of realized, you know, a lot of the good YouTubers um, do more than just one game. You know, they don't just have Minecraft and that's all they do. And... You know, like Scene Anders, when you think of Scene Anders, you automatically think Call of Duty. But he also does Minecraft. He also does, you know, other things. And so, with all the... He did, you know, a Portal 2 thing with um, Sark, I think. Or maybe it was Hutch. I don't know. It's been a while since I watched him. But anyhow, you know, a lot of the good Minecrafters do a lot of other games. Or a lot of the good YouTubers, sorry. I'm gonna die. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I'm going to die. Alright, I got one string. That's good for my fishing... Um, adventures. I'm going to heal a little bit over here. I'm going to place down a furnace and start smelting some stuff. Um, I wish I could get one more string so I could start fishing, because we are close to Jungle Biome. We're, like, right on the edge of it, literally, like, ten blocks from it, so that'd be nice. We're also very close to Snow Biome, so we could easily craft the Snow Golem. I do need to also find pumpkins, which is kind of my next thing. Those are kind of, I'm not going to go specifically looking for them, but... Uh, definitely when I see them, I'm going to collect them. Alright, so I'm going to put down a crafting table and this furnace here. Furnace, coal, cook some iron, take about half of that. And I left my crafting table down there. Alright, I'll craft a new crafting table, no problem. We're not running low on wood at all. Uh, that's one thing about Minecraft. If you get the wood taken care of right away, you don't have to worry about it for... What am I... What the hell am I doing? You don't have to worry about it for the rest of eternity, practically. You know, it's just kind of... You already have wood taken care of. It. You don't even think about it. Same with coal. Once you mine, like couple stacks of coal, you never worry about it again, because you just kind of naturally mine it as you go. Alright, so while I'm waiting for that to smell, I'm going to try to get, how many bones? I have three bones at my inventory. So yeah, anyhow, back to what I was talking about with the YouTube channel. I started with Minecraft, we kind of progressed into other games. We tried Mountain Blade, we tried Kerball, we tried uh, Battlefield Heroes, we tried, let's see, uh, what else? We tried, tried, of course, Star Trek and Minecraft, we tried, I think there was one more game that we did that 
yeah, can't really remember right now. Probably remember it later, right after I finish the this commentary, and I'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot it, this and this. Um, but until then, yeah, so we've done like five or six games so far, and we're, we're still kind of looking for more games to do, but we're at least kind of happy with so far how it's going, and we think, I mean, we know we're not, you know, amazing YouTubers or anything, but we, we think we have... Yeah, we think we have some potential as far as we think we're getting better with our commentary. We think we're getting better with all that kind of stuff. Hi, Enderman. That would be really stupid to kill you, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah. Just waiting. Gonna get these string, and now I can start fishing. I also want to lead the skeletons onto land. That way I can... That way they die when the sun comes up. That way I don't have to bother with killing them. I should also check on my smelting iron progress. I'm going to kill the skeleton. Actually, no. There's too many creepers over there. <laughs> Maybe I could get a music disc. <laughs> Fun things to do in Minecraft. Uh, Alright, skeleton sees me still. Still following me. Hi, chicken. Alright, uh, I wonder why I didn't pick that up. Alright, skeletons. Alright, he's now on fire. Good, good, good. I'm going to eat some food. Good, 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 good. Die in a hole. Um... See, iron is going good, iron's going good. Just a little bit more time, I'm just going to hang around here just a little bit longer, guys, to, um, ouch. I hate the way the skeletons can, like, instantly shoot you. Yeah. So anyway, this is some really cool, um, genera world generation over here. I just want to point that out. <laughs> I, I'm, I kind of like Kurt, I'm like, whoa, the cannon of whoa, oh my god. You know, I like cool... But anyway, James and I, when we started the um, YouTube channel, we had been friends for not all that long. We kind of became friends in school, and it kind of just went from there. We didn't, like, there wasn't, like, uh, all of a sudden kind of, ha, huh, we're both friends. It was kind of more of a gradual kind of building up kind of thing. I have enough to make a fishing line. I'm going to go fishing now. Uh, so it, it was kind of a gradual thing, but it went kind of quick as far as, you know, from acquaintances to friends and to a YouTube channel progressed pretty quickly, but it wasn't, like, instant. Hi. Hi. I'm James. I'm Axel. We just started a YouTube channel. Yeah! You know. <laughs> Which I know some people actually do. Alright, I now have enough iron to make my snow golem, to make my iron golem. I'm gonna just craft the iron blocks so I have them on hand. This is the way I craft iron blocks. I just kind of randomly throw iron in there, and it works. Alright, so I got my four iron blocks. I also got some more ingots. Uh, Alright, that one's done, so I'm going to start smelting or smoking or whatever you want to call it, a little bit more food. Uh, I'll put a little bit more food in here, too. going to craft our um, fishing pole, fishing line, whatever you want to call it. Well, the fishing line is the string fishing pole. Ah, wait, ignore me. There's a pond down here I'm going to try to fish in. I'm not too good at fishing, guys. I just learned how to fish. Kind of like, I think James didn't know how to fish too much either. We kind of just both had to find out. Also, I just learned how to get ocelots a little while ago, so <laughs> we'll try out my skills with ocelot finding. Do you have to be in the ocean to fish? I'm not... No, I remember getting fish one time out of a lake. Yeah, it was a bigger lake, but th this should be a big enough lake. Just keep on waiting, waiting, waiting for the fish to bite. I have that song stuck in my head, like, constantly. It goes in and out, and it's just kind of a random thing, so... Bear with me if I start singing that. Because I know I don't have a good singing voice. I am perfectly aware. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, I'm not getting anything of interest here. Let's try over here, kind of more in the stream, maybe? I don't know. I'd have a little bit more luck with near the octopus. Do fish like octopi? I don't know. Whatever. I like pie. Do you like pie? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired. Alright, we've been at this for about 23 minutes or so. So not too bad, we have enough for an iron golem minus a pumpkin. We're really close, so we could easily get a snow golem if we had pumpkin. Uh, we have enough bones to get a wolf if we can just find a wolf, and we shouldn't have too much of a trouble with an ocelot once we get some fish. So we're on a good track, we don't have enough for anything yet, but we're pretty close on all four fronts, I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure, I'm not entirely confident in any of that, but we can only but hope. So yes. Oh! Yes, got the fish. I left clicked and I'm like, crap! Right click! Yes, right clicked. Alright, got this. <laughs> Fishing is not my thing. It kind of reminds me of how you used to fish. I don't know if any of you guys played um, Animal Crossing. It was a fun game back in the day when I was a little kid. It was like, you know, you just like glued to the screen for 30 minutes and then it's like, alright, Maxwell, enough gaming time. Alright. 
but anyhow, basically fishing was the same. You got a fishing line. You bought it instead of, you know, crafting it. But ooh, that was good reflexes. Uh, I have two fish so far, I think. Basically, you just throw your line. Yeah, two fish. You, you just throw your line into the water, and you just wait until something bit. In, in Animal Crossing, you could see the fish, so you kind of had to line it up with the fish, whereas in this game, the fish just kind of randomly spawn. It probably, it, talking in Suedo code, of course, is probably something like a, you know, uh, random, generate a new uh, random number every second. If that random number, or between 1 and 30, if that random number is, say, 15 or whatever, then attach a fish to the line, and so, you know, you can get a fish within your first second, or it can, speaking of getting fish, or it can take, you know, like, you know, an infinite amount of time, theoretically. So that's probably, I've never really looked at the Minecraft, I have looked at the Minecraft code uh, a little bit, I decompiled and read through some of it. Speaking of which, I am, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, I am kind of a computer nerd. I, that's why I was kind of ashamed I couldn't remember the motherboard I had. P8Z68V Pro. Alright, I remember it now. I'm not going to forget that. Again, that was, that made me feel stupid. Alright, I think I got enough fish. I'm going to try to find an ocelot now. I'm going to also, um, grab what food I have smoking in here. What's smoking? Food's smoking. Ah, I gotcha. Never, never mind. Don't, don't listen to me. Don't ever listen to me if you want good advice on something that's actually serious. Alright, so I have the fish in my inventory. I think four should be enough. I think that's what the Minecraft wiki said. I don't know. Ocelot. I have fish. Come to me, for I have fish. Fish. Alright, it's kind of a little bit too far, I think, to smell the fish. So I just gotta go down a little bit. There are two ocelots here. I want the big ocelot. Alright, there we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. He's coming up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, and on the first try, we got an ocelot. We have got an ocelot. Alright, wow, that is awesome. Alright, now to find a wolf and to find some pumpkins. And that's basically it. The ocelot is following me. The ocelot does do a kind of meowing thing. Oh, hi ocelot. Um, which kind of grates on me a little bit after a while, but, you know, that's after a while. We're about 26 minutes in, so I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping to beat Schism's time. I'm, I don't want to jinx myself or anything. I don't actually believe in jinxes, but for the sake of argument. But I think we're pretty good on track. I haven't actually watched Schism's video. I did watch um, a couple. I've never watched a full video of the Companions Challenge. I've watched bits and pieces of Kurt J. Max, bits and pieces of um, uh, the KGBs minus Kurt doing multiplayer. I watched that from two different angles. Just, um, you know, little smatterings. I still don't see any pumpkins. I must be... Either blind or there's no pumpkins, or both. Both is probably the likely answer. Um, pumpkins don't spawn in the desert, so I don't want to go towards the desert. I'm also looking for wolves, and I don't know if wolves spawn in the desert as much, if at all. I know they do spawn in snowy biomes fairly often. I've seen them in snowy biomes quite a bit, so I think sticking to a snowy or regular biome are my best chances. Oh, I'm also, while I'm here, going to craft... Dang it, I left my craft table behind again. I'm going to craft... Uh, some a shovel, and that way I will have the ability to uh, grab some snow here, so I can make some snow blocks. Because if I find the wolf or whatever, and I'm not in a snow biome, it's going to be a real pain having to come back uh, again with the challenge. If you just craft it and it lives for like a second and dies, that is okay. They were all together in the same spot at one time. Uh, I don't know if my time's worth worth breaking this crafting table, being that I have I can craft it easier and I have enough ample supply of wood. But whatever, I've just broke it. Tuxedo Cat is still following me, so I think we're doing good here. Um, there's a chicken. Couple chickens. Don't need any more food. I think I'm perfectly good on food. I have 15 pork chops, uh, 16 pork chops, 15 steak, and a little bit of raw chicken. So I think I'm all good on food. I'm not going to worry at all about catching or smoking any more food. Maybe I'll find some things down here, let's hope. Somewhere around here. I don't know for sure. I've Again, there's a random seed, so I have no clue how things are going to spawn. But I hope... Ow. Alright. <laughs> Take a little bit of fall damage. Luckily, we're not on like Ultra Hardcore or anything like that. Ultra Hardcore is... It's fun, but it's not for everyone. And it's not for everything, either. I mean, you can't just do Ultra Hardcore on like the Companions Challenge. That would not end well. You know, you take... 3 damage from a skeleton, and then another 3 damage, and then you'd want to get one more bone, so you'd take another 3 damage, and then another 3 damage, and then you'd be dead. And that would suck. So, 
Ultra Hardcore doesn't work for a lot of things, but it is fun if you kind of customize what you're doing around the fact that you're on Ultra Hardcore. You know, so instead of doing cave exploration, you do mining. So you increase your, you know, limit of time that you allocate or whatever. Or you do like a PvP match because then it's, you know, equal opportunity. Equal opportunity Minecraft for the win. Um, I already said that, didn't I? Anyhow, um, so that that's basically what yeah, I'm rambling on about. Uh, basically just that, you know, Minecraft, you... You get what you get, and you, you kind of have to, depending on what challenge you're doing and whatnot, yeah, yeah, you really have to customize Minecraft. And that's one of the beautiful things about Minecraft. You can, you can really, ooh, creepy. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so anyway, you, we're about 29, almost 29 minutes into playing, and we're not going to be, um, the time of that ethos set, where he said 30 minutes. He didn't actually make 30 minutes, but he s allocated 30 minutes, saying people should be able to do it in 30 minutes. Alright, this is the end of that, but I do see another biome over there, so I'm just going to head over there. No problem. I do also see an NPC village over there. I don't see much reason in exploring it, except they might have something cool in their chest, so I'm going to go loot it. That'll be very quick, guys. I'm just going to eat some food right now. And actually, at this point, more resources wouldn't really do me anything. So, screw that. Uh, anything else that I need to say? Oh, uh, again with our YouTube channel, with um, kind of the suggestions and stuff, Yeah, I've noticed, you guys have probably noticed too, if you follow us very much, uh, that we've been kind of inactive as far as, you know, we don't upload as many videos as, say, you know, Kurt J. Mack or anyone like that per week or whatever. And that's partly because we are kind of busy people. I mean, we have school, we have... I'm currently writing a multiplayer game in Java, just a simple text-based. I mean, it's not like Minecraft or anything, but, you know, I'm just doing that for the heck of it and for the fun of it. It's kind of like a MUD, M-U-D, multi-user dungeon, but not exactly. But anyhow, we, go, moving on. <laughs> yeah, and we're also lazy people, so... Between all of that, we commonly don't get a lot of um, videos uh, filmed, rendered, uploaded, and all that per week. We try, but, you know, hey, no promises with anything. So that's basically where we're at with the YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any suggestions, of course, like I said earlier, please feel free to suggest them. Do pumpkins spawn jungle biomes? I'm not sure. Now I feel like I should have looked this up. Um... I don't see any pumpkins. Pumpkins are what I need. Pumpkins and wolves. And I also don't know if wolves spawn in jungle biomes. I'd kind of like to just get to a normal biome right now, but I somehow don't see that happening. Because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, watch. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think wolves spawn in jungle biomes. I don't know for sure. Uh, oh, there's some plains. Alright, this is perfect. This is where I've seen pumpkins a lot. Oh, and pumpkins! I found pumpkins! Ah! Oh, Alright, now we just gotta find a wolf. Alright, so now we gotta break these pumpkins. We got two pumpkins. Come on, come on, come on, break. Alright, two pumpkins. Great, we got two pumpkins. Two pumpkins. Da, 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 da. Alright, we're about 31 minutes, 32 minutes in. We just gotta find a wolf, and then we are done. Done, as in completed the challenge. And that'll be pretty close to Etho's time. Yeah. Shred. Shred, uh, we've... Shred, I don't know. He's... I want to see how he does on the Companions Challenge, honestly, because it is quite hard. I got pretty lucky with this world, but a lot of the Companions Challenge, honestly, is based on luck. It's it's based on, you know, do you spawn in a good world? Do you have good stuff around you? Do you have good opportunities for everything? You know, do you really have a good foothold on resources around you? And it's really more luck than skill. I mean, there is certainly skill involved with fighting and strategy, and, you know, you don't want to do branch mining or anything like that, you know. At least I don't think you do. But we should try that. Branch mining. That would probably not end well at all. Skeleton! Ah, run for your li- Hi. Run for your lives! I need to eat. And stuff's still following me. Hi, zombie. Move. All right, I just gotta find a wolf. I just gotta find a wolf. Let me find a wolf. Stupid wolves. Spawn already. Damn it. Uh, I don't know if they spawn in planes either. Alright, here's a forest biome coming up. Hopefully we'll be able to find a wolf there. I'm hoping. No promises. Uh, we're about 33 minutes in. Come on, we can do this. We can beat Schism's time. Just gotta find a wolf. If it takes me 11 minutes to find a wolf, and because of that I don't beat Schism's time, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. <laughs> that would be quite annoying indeed. Because I have everything else. And then it's just like, yeah, wolf. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite annoying. 
Alright, this just ended, but there's another... Oh, man, it's a jungle biome, not a forest biome. Dang it. Alright, um... We need wolves to spawn. Come on, come on, come on. Um... <sighs> Alright, here, here's more forest. Alright, great. Uh, let's try to find a wolf here. I don't see any wolves. I can't believe it. It's really annoying. You can't imagine how annoying it is right now. I have everything. I have everything. Downright everything, except a wolf. That's the only thing. Wait, is that a wolf off of it? No, that's not. Silly. Oh, man, that... Oh, wow. <laughs> it was a sheep. I'm starting to see things now. Alright. Uh, why am I lighting this up? I don't know. Go back into the forest biome, see if I can find anything. This is a really skinny forest biome. It's like skinny and long and like lanky, basically. Uh, don't see anything here at all. Like literally at all. There is like, this is really annoying me. Alright, we're currently about 34 and a half minutes in. Come on, we're so close, so close. Alright, there's another forest biome. Oh, oh, that cat scared me. Alright, there's another forest biome here. See if we can't find a wolf here. Got the bones ready in my inventory. You know, maybe if you hold bones, wolves are more likely to spawn. I don't know. That's probably just something I made up. But anyhow. Oh, we found a wolf! Oh! Alright, we tamed the wolf. We got the wolf tamed. Alright. We got the ocelot. Gonna light this area up a little bit. Uh, we don't have any snow. Sorry. Uh, oop, another wolf. Uh, Alright. We got two wolves tamed. We got an ocelot. We got uh, snow in my inventory and iron in my inventory. Oh, no. If I die now. If I die now. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, that didn't kill me. Great. Oh. <laughs> Delusional Maxwell. All right. Um. So. Yeah, kind of paranoid to be honest. Uh. All right. Where did the? Oh, there's the pumpkins. All right. Iron golem. We got the iron golem and snow golem. Here we come. Snow. Oh, get out of my way, leaves. Snow golem. We have a snow golem. All right. It's probably gonna die. Oh, it didn't die. Oh my god. Screenshots. All right. We got it all. We got everything. Where are the ocelot? There's the ocelot. We got everything. Yes. Congratulations. 35 minutes or so. We beat Schism by 9 minutes. We beat Kerche Mac by like 56. I'm really good at math. Why can't I do this? 56. We beat him by a bunch of time. Yes. Thank you, and we will see you next time.